you let go of your children inside yourself. Whatever is really holding you on earth and keeping you attached and it creates fear of losing them, you're going to have to get over that within yourself. And a part of that is to always keep referring, always bringing your attention within yourself, always bringing your attention to here, inwards, to discover that which is always here to discover the space which is here, to discover the presence. That's the presence of God. Her Majesty, the Supreme Being. And to encounter that, encountering this, and getting comfortable by being with the self. Getting comfortable by allowing yourself to let go of everything and getting comfortable with that which is always present, which is here. And then you begin to feed off of this because then you start to bond in this relationship between you and your divine self. And then this is where the wealth is. This is where the love keeps coming. bringing your attention here. You bring your attention here. You're hanging out with this one. Because we, most of our lives, haven't spent any time here. Our attention is always on the other world. We've been conditioned that love is coming from the other world, utter world. Someone has to give you love. Someone has to give you attention. So you bring your attention this way to this one. Recognize this one here inside you. Again, we've been taught from childhood to project the power of love and the being and the presence outside of ourselves. You're being taken to the church or mosque or synagogue Or if you're into Hinduism, Buddhism, there's always something, some structure outside of yourself and there's a statue outside of yourself. So you bring your attention there. You always fall in love with someone outside of yourself. You always want confirmation and love and acceptance from someone else. 
So we've been conditioned to look for it somewhere else, which is false. It's not there. It can't fulfill you and it can't satisfy you permanently. It's short term. What you're looking for, and no one really taught us from childhood until we brought on this path, is that which you're looking for is already here. So we bring our attention here, here. When you sit by yourself and you're quiet and you're not engaged with your mind and you're not entertaining yourself with your emotions, so your attention is here, then a phenomena takes place because you brought your attention to Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, the love of God. You're bringing your attention to this one. And when you bring your attention to this one, so it's kind of for the first time, you're really paying attention to the real soulmate. And the connection starts to happen and you get blissed out. You enter into love. You start to feel the love. And it's easy for you to project it on your teacher. That's another trap. You have to be careful not to fall into this trap. People project this love that they experience when I'm doing my workshop or academy or satsang or retreat and we go to this place of extreme love and they're projecting it on me as if they are falling in love with me or as if I am giving them this love. And that's another trap you can fall into with whomever you're following, whomever is your teacher your future teacher, past teacher, I don't care. You're not falling in love with your teacher. If you have a true teacher, they're mirroring back to you, they're holding a mirror in your face to recognize who you really are, the love which is within yourself. You are falling in love with the Divine Self, you're falling in love with the Presence. The Presence which is here, the love which is here, and you are that. And some of you may not believe that, or may not grog, say, okay. And that's okay, it will come. But you are the source of this love. This love, its very source and its fountain is within yourself. It's always here. It's not anywhere else. Don't waste your time looking for it somewhere else. 